In today's tech tip, I'm going to demonstrate the effectiveness of using filtered image textures. As you can see here, I have a model of a house which has some textures applied to the foundation, walls, and roof. After talking with the client, they like the design, but they want to know what the model would look like with different colors. Instead of searching online for an image that complements the texture that you've already applied, but has a different color or tone, you can simply edit your existing texture and apply a different color shade. To do this, go to your resource browser, select the texture you would like to change, right click on the texture and choose edit to open the edit texture dialog box. Because this is an image based texture, I can change the shade color options from image color to filtered image. Once you do this, a dialog box will appear asking you to select an image to be used as the filtered image. Since we do not want to change the original image, I'm going to select the option to reuse an image from an existing resource and select the existing image. Now that the image is selected, the filtered image options come up. In this dialog box, I'm able to select a filter color. I can choose whether the filter color is going to take on the object's fill color or apply a single color to all the objects that share this texture. For this example, I'm going to select Use Chosen Color and select a light brown color and click OK. Here you can see that the texture has been updated and has changed the look of all the objects that have the texture applied to it. I'm going to quickly repeat this process for the wall and roof textures to show you how easily the model can be updated and compare the difference in the models. As you can see here, I was able to quickly update the model and present the client with a completely different look.